Okay, final stationing video here. And just to recap, we've already gone over all the coordinate stationings as you know as briefly as I can uh, without overwhelming you guys. Talked about building line stationing, talked about how to create uh, your benchmark height, talked about how to import a station, and talked about what free stationing was. Now I'm going to go over what this grid line stationing is, and along with this shifting of a total station. Only these two can be used, only this can be used with this. So grid line stationing, this is, I've, I've heard of people using it. I actually don't use it very often, but I will show you what it does. So if I come over here, go to my project, I have to use a job with, again, a coordinate system because it's under the coordinate stationing. So I'm going to go here to my job. Now I'm going to open it up. What you do is, let me zoom in so you can see what I mean. So on grid line station, what you're going to do is basically measure one part of your grid, one line of the grid, and then measure another line of the grid. Doesn't matter where the intersection is, nothing like that. It does matter that your grid lines are accurate, and you'll see why in a second. But that's what I'm going to do in here. So I'm going to measure, I'm in a square room, and this is obviously a square CAD file. I'm going to use this wall and this wall as my grid lines, and you'll, you'll see kind of how it all works out. But the whole idea behind it is you don't need control points, you just need grid lines. That's what you station to station off of anyway. And it's the tool being smart and saying, okay, if you give me this grid line and this grid line, well, they intersect, they intersect here, and then it's going to guide you of how to make sure it's stationed correctly. And I encourage you to use it, if to at least try it and see if it, if it helps you out. But there's a few things that I just want to make you aware of. Uh, but because I have control points out there that I know are accurate on, mo on almost all my job sites, I just use those control points as a manual stationing. But let's get to it. So I'm in that job. I'm going to go to stationing. I'm going to select grid line stationing. And here it goes. It warns you. It depends on the accuracy of the, of the actual building lines that exist out there. It's just warning you. Um, so great. So select first building line. OK, so I told you I'm going to use this building line right here on this side as my first grid line. I just tap on it and select it. So it asked me to measure the first point of the building line. Now the first point doesn't matter where you measure, just measure a, a point on that line. So I'm gonna go over, I'll measure a point on the wall. One second, let me turn my laser on so I can see what I'm looking at. All right, I'm looking at one side of that wall. I'm gonna say measure. No, tell me I'm at a level, hang on. Sorry for the delay. Okay, so I'm going to measure the first point on my building line. Point one. And now I'm going to just go somewhere else in the building line and measure the second part. So I just spun it on that same wall just a little bit further down, and I'm going to measure the second point. So basically what I just did is I gave it a gospel line. Right, that line is my gospel line, and now it's saying, okay, give me my your second building line. Right, so here I have it, I gave it this line. Now wherever I measure for my next point, it's gonna say, boom, I figured out where your intersection is. That's where you're, that, that's where I'm stopping on this line for your next line. And you're gonna and all you're gonna do is say, okay, now I'm gonna give you the next point of that line. So I'm gonna select the second line here, and I'm gonna measure any part of that line that I want. So here I go. And now it says measure second point. So I'm going to measure the second point. Okay, so I got two points on the first line, two points on the second line, right? And now here it comes up. It says, okay, given the two blinds you gave me, I don't know if I'm here or here, right? And the reason for that is because, yeah, you gave it two lines. Like, but it doesn't know necessarily where on the line you measured, but it does know where they intersected. It does know where they intersect it. So that means that you're either over here or over here. It's going to be blatantly obviously where you are. I'm obviously right here. And I'm going to say, kaboom. Yep, that's where I am. So now this is where it gets fun and interesting and where you got to make some decisions. The first three points that I measured, right? The first two were on the first grid line I gave. The second point was to indicate where the second point, the second grid line was. And the, the fourth point basically says, okay, yes, it is accurate to the angles that these lines are or it's not and it's going to tell you how far off it is right here 
okay? Because listen, you can use grid lines that are weird angles. You can use grid lines that are wide, small, what, it doesn't matter. As long as you select the right grid lines, the tool is going to recognize the angle, and it's going to tell you basically if it's off or not, no, no matter what grid lines you use. Most grid lines are 90 degrees, so it's most likely going to be the case. But if my grid lines met at a 45-degree angle, technically I could have used those. So these three first three points are always not going to have a deviation. It, the tool is going to assume that they are correct, and then here it's going to say, okay, that fourth point in relation to this first line, it's it's at this much of, of an off of an angle. I'm going to really well designed room, I guess, because it's nice, uh, nice and square. So now I'm stationed. If I am okay with that, then I'll say, okay, yeah, I'm good. And I'm going to go ahead and set my height, measure the ceiling again. Well, I'll measure wherever I am. I don't really care to set my zero. And I'm going to say check. And now I'm done. And now if I go to draw, my station 10 is right there. That's where I stationed it because I use grid line stationing. I've seen this be really effective. Some people live and die by this thing uh, because they, they're grid lines, they know they're accurate. And the nice thing to think about this, the nice thing about this is that this line is now my gospel line. And if anything's off, this might be off this way or this way by about an eighth of an inch because that was my deviation of this. But as far as this line goes, it's it's strong and, and, and it's not moving anywhere. All right, so that's the concept behind it, I encourage you to just try it and see if you're accurate on your on your on your layout. Now, one other thing with this, actually two other things. The first thing is just basic. I know people that use this, and they, what they do is they measure basically all, this line all the way down. Maybe, maybe they make the first point way over here, and the second point they make at the intersection where the lines intersect, and then guess which point they use for the second grid line, the same intersection, and then they measure something else out way over here. That way, that intersection basically is a lot more crisp and, and and accurate. I've seen people do that. I've also, I enjoy actually just saying, hey, I'm going to go as far down this line as I want and as far down the other way as I can. I like wide angles, but some people, they say, no, nope, I'm going to just measure as far down this way as I can, come back here, measure the intersection where I know the, of the second one where it meets, measure that second one and measure somewhere along that line there so that intersection is basically helps me stay accurate. Again, just try it. Just try it. So now I'll come back over here. Let's say I'm stationed. Remember this one, this guy right here. Okay, I'm going to click it. It's my moving my station. So let's say I'm stationed, but I know that I maybe I'm off uh, one way or the other, and I know that if I just move the station in one way or the other, I'll be dead on. This might happen to you. Uh, maybe you're laying out a few points. You're like, man, I'm always a quarter inch off. Maybe if I just move my station back a little bit. With grid line stationing, you can do this, and it's warning you moving the station. Well, it's going to move out a lot of your move all your points. Just warning you, okay? So I'm going to say check. No big deal for what I'm doing now. So now let me zoom into where my station is. There's station 10. I can literally move this as far as I want. But so just to be realistic here, let's say I know that I'm half inch off everywhere, and I want to move this a half inch. Maybe even that's really heavy. I'm going to say enter, and it just moved the stationing. Uh, you can't, yeah, here it goes. You can see the deviation, a half inch north. And I can choose whether or not I want to accept that. I can move it east as well, negative east, positive east, positive north, negative north, whatever I want. I hope this makes sense. This just is something where you can kind of go out there, station on a grid, and if you notice you're off consistently in one direction, you can come in here and make that adjustment. Do I recommend it? No, not necessarily, but I definitely encourage you to try it. If it works, great. It's just another option for you. I think, in my humble opinion, using control points is almost always better, but I know there's people that are going to disagree with me, and if you do, please say so in the comments. I'm always curious. That's grid line stationing with the ability to shift that station if you so need to. I hope that helps you. Please uh, ask your measuring specialist of Hilti somewhere if you have questions. But again, I think you're gonna you gotta just try it and see if it works for you. Use some some of your own uh, experience to figure out if it's wor worth it. Let me close this out.